to high school sports. The Fairmont Heights football team is 5-3 and three on the season and on the cusp of qualifying for the 1A state playoffs. Not bad for a team that was one of the worst not only in the county, but in the entire state last season, and they haven't had a winning record in 22 years. The Hornets are led by Christian Pele. The senior captain excels at running back, defensive back, and kick returns, and is the team's leader. He is this week's CTV Student Athlete of the Week. I've been coaching him um, um, three years now. Um, his first year, he, he was injured. Um, but the second, last two years, um, he just do everything I asked him to do. Um, he's relentless. He's excellent in the classroom. And um, he's, he's been a leader for you know, the last three years for me. The biggest goal for my team is making it to the playoffs. That's been the biggest goal since we started all season workouts, trying to get uh, the next team ready for when the senior leave, get them prepared, and to step up to the plate. Right now, he's second in the county in rushing, um, 11 touchdowns. Um, he, just, he just do everything I ask him to do. He never complain. He never, not one time, say, Coach, give me the ball. You know, I guess he know he's going to get the ball. So he, I guess, you know, that's one question he don't have to ask me. It's been a journey. I've been with these boys for four years now. Uh, sadly, my 10th uh, grade year, I didn't play because of the injury, but came back stronger, staying in the weight room, working out with them. And it's an honor to be playing with them. In his three years in the Fairmont Heights program, Pele has grown into a team leader and an extension of the coach on the field. Uh, the thing that stuck with me is being a leader, being able to step to the plate. They, he, my coach tell me every day, these boys look up to me. Whatever I do, they're going to try to follow me, so I got to be a leader. Be the first one out here for practice and be the last one to leave. Despite his busy athletic schedule, Pele manages to do other activities off the football field keeps a high GPA because he has high career aspirations when he's done playing football. My favorite subject is math. I plan on being an architect, but I got to keep my grades up. 3.0 or higher, my mom always tell me. So that's the goal for this year to keep my grades up, and that's the main focus. I like running track, other sports. I like drawing. I stay active every morning. Wake up six, go take take a mile run before we get ready for school. Just like working out and staying ready for practice. I don't got time for video games or any of that watching television. So that's the main focus, school and sports. And although he's second in the county in rushing and has scored 11 touchdowns, he's quick to give credit elsewhere for his success. I tell everybody this all the time. I give my, uh, my talent and my stats from my uh, fullback, Dre. <laughs> The best fullback I had this year, he's always got my block, and that's the main thing. I tell him this every game. He'd be like, Pele, you saw my block? I'd be like, yeah, I get most of my uh, touchdown off him, and I really appreciate him. So what are the future plans for Christian Pele? Uh, I plan on going to college. That's the main goal, playing college football. And whatever goes from there, goes. <laughs> Pele is having an outstanding year on the football field and in the classroom. And just to give you an example, he wasn't nominated for Athlete of the Week by a coach or an athletic director. One of his teachers called to nominate him. That's how good he is as a student. Congratulations, Christian Pele, our Student Athlete of the Week.